this is Christina from the Bedford Public Library, and today we're here with our third installment of our journaling series. Last week, if you remember, we were talking about goals, and today we're going to work on trackers for those goals. But first we can go ahead and look at what some trackers may look like. I have already made a January water challenge tracker where I just tracked how much water I drank in a day, and that way I knew if I needed to be drinking more often. You can see I made just small dots as I was drinking throughout the day, so it was easy to quickly mark them and continue on with my day. And then I made larger dots when I got to the end of the day if I had actually fulfilled it. So with this tracker, I can easily see when I'm drinking enough and when I might need to be drinking a little bit more for me at least to hit my goals. So I can see that I got pretty close a lot of days, so maybe I just need to add an extra glass and on, as part of my ritual for the day to just get me a little bit closer to hitting it on a regular basis. Now we're gonna see some more examples of habit trackers from Chloe. Hi everyone, it's Chloe, and I am so excited for you to take a peek inside of my planner. Um, the first thing that I do whenever I get a new planner is I start a reading log in the back. So these are my like extra blank pages in the back of my planner. Um, on the left I have my currently reading, so I'll write a book down here whenever I start reading it. And then on the right I have my reading list. So this is like my reading wish list of things that I really want to read this year. Um, and I divide it up into genres. And these are just genres that I am personally interested in. You could divide it up however you want to. And then I assigned each genre a highlighter color so that whenever I put it over on my reading list, then I can see easily what genres I'm reading a lot of and which ones I'm not reading so much of. Um, I have the author on there and then also notes. So once I finish it, I can write notes about what I thought about it. I can put a little rating there. Um, you really can do whatever you want with whatever you want to track. It doesn't have to be books. It could be movies, TV shows, podcasts, um, whatever you want it to be, you can make a tracker for it. So next I am saving room for the rest of my reading list because I'll probably fill this one up pretty quick and want another page for my reading wish list to pick from for when I'm picking a new book. I also have a nature and hiking log. So on the left, just like with the reading log, um, I want to track where I hike or spend time in nature. And then on the right, I have the nature um, hierarchy of needs. So however, like the recommended dosage of nature that you ideally would need. Um, so I wanted to list out the different places I could go in nature and that's what this wish list is for. So as I find out about places or see places, I can add them to my list according to um, if it would be a daily, a weekly, a monthly, or an annual trip. Then once I go, I can stick it over here in the month section. So I did this part in pencil because I might spend a ton of time outside in February, so I'll need more space. Um, or I might spend hardly any time outside. Um, and so I can erase this as I want to and make more room other places for other months. Um, and then another type of tracker that you could do, I am learning how to roller skate. So I want to have a page for my skating drills. So the drill would be bubbles, um, the number of hours, I said about four hours would probably be right. So then every time I do an hour of this drill, then I can shade in that box. Once it's full, I can get whatever reward I decide to give myself. So these are trackers that are super flexible. You could change them up with whatever you want to track or um, just see what you're doing, look back on, uh, that you've accomplished over the year. So thank you so much for looking at my planner. Thank you, Chloe, those are great. Now to go back to my SMART goals, I wanna go ahead and make out a couple new trackers for myself. So my first one was volunteering. So I'm going to start off with the year. Helps to keep me accurate if I ever wanna look back. Longer term, if I do happen to keep these, I can see that it was for this specific year. And go ahead and you might want to try to write just a little bit nicer. This hopefully is something that you're looking at regularly for the next 12 months. 
So it should be something that you want to look at and makes you a little happy to do that. Also, right, just a little bit of an inspirational quote. Please change you wish to see. It's a very common quote for some a page like this. We're going to start off just putting the months down the side, I'm giving myself a little extra room just to be able to see these a little bit better. I'm going to mark this line to make sure that it's easy to separate the month and the next thing. Next thing I'm going to be doing is checking the time. I'm going to give myself six columns for this so I can track it in 10 minute increments to see how much time I've actually been volunteering. Then I'm actually going to put a place for where I'm volunteering. And then finally I'm going to put a section for notes. Next, we're going to move on to my content placement tracker. This is going to be a little bit smaller. And it's going to look a lot like a monthly log just because I'm tracking something every day. And I'm going to do a column for contemplation. This is just a yes, no. It might make some sense to also track my mood here. So that might be telling me something about, you know, days that maybe I miss or days that are a little bit more difficult. You might see if taking the time to contemplate might improve my mood over time. So if I have several days in a row, maybe that will make a difference versus if I'm really missing a lot of these, maybe my mood will start to go down. Just something to track. I'm not sure what we will do, so we'll see. And then also I have a column for notes, and this just allows me to put anything. If something major in my life is happening that might be affecting either the contemplation or the mood, I can put it in there so at least I have some way to keep myself accountable and honest, but also give myself grace if things are a little bit uncertain in my life. So thank you for watching this. And if you would like to continue with our series, next week we will be doing how to make a journal holder that will hold these three notebooks. Thank you. Bye.